Oh, a bunny was killed right there. I feel like that was a deep cleaning and that was too deep for me. Teach you how to step into this next dimension of who God is calling you to be. The thing I'm trying to do now is like to not be self-conscious like vlogging in public. Well, it looks kind of dirty, but it is yummy. Oh, this is three pieces. Okay, this is good then. We, we, after talking, we found out that we went to school, we went to high school together, but I was... Good morning, guys. Welcome back to another vlog. Um, I had a rough start this morning, as y'all can see. Uh, if you guys are new here, welcome to my channel. And if you are returning, welcome back. I feel like I look a mess. <laughs> I feel like I look a whole mess. Let me roll on these windows because it is hot today. I really should put my phone in and I need to lotion my hands. Anyways, guys, happy Monday. It is 8.29 and I am now leaving out to go to work as usual. I had a really little rough start this morning. Excuse my hair, my hair tie. Y'all will probably see my hair like this very often because in my natural... When my hair is in my natural state and I do it on mornings. Oh, a bunny was killed right there. Oh my gosh. I hate how these people park here because I cannot see anything. Bunny was killed right, right there in front of my house. Oh my gosh. All the blood. Anyways. Y'all are going to see my hair like this a lot. If I'm going to be, if I'm like vlogging on my way to work because... Because I need my hair to lay by the time I get to work because I only did it this morning And when I said did it, I just literally mean like put it in one But I put a little bit of product in it so I need the product to like lay or whatever So basically what y'all saw was me um, Taking out those big mosaic numbers or whatever Those large like numbers that people usually have for birthdays So for my birthday I had a three and a zero Obviously, it had balloons and stuff in it, but I was trying, like, I really didn't want to, like, throw it away. Um, so, I had to put it on Marketplace to sell. So, I had a buyer for it. This is, like, the second or third buyer that I actually had for it. But this one, this buyer was, like, going to be a legit buyer, right? Gave her my email address, decided on where to pick up, da da da, -da. She wanted to pick up today at 12.30, but obviously, I had work, so nobody would have been at home. So I was telling her, well, I'm available after five. I work pretty close to where I live, so you can come to my work and pick it up. And that's kind of like the plan that we had come up with, that she was going to pick it up from my job. So I had put it in the car. I had to cut all the balloons yesterday and put it in the car yesterday so that I won't be like rushing this morning to like have to put it in the car to get the balloons or stuff. Um, and then I woke up to like... so. She had asked me last night for my email address, but it only started this morning. So when I replaced giving her my email address, she actually replied saying the person that, I guess, like, who the person whose birthday it was supposed to be had actually canceled the balloon thing. So, yeah, she canceled. So that's canceled. But I'm not going to deal with it anymore. I'm not going to try to, like, sell it anymore. I think I'm just going to throw it away because it was, it was purchased for, I think, $120 or so, $140, $120. But that's with the balloons and everything. And it served its purpose, but I was like, you know, maybe I could just sell it for like $20. So I was selling it for $20 and I'm just going to throw it out. I'm not like, I, it was taking up too much space because I had it in my, like, the last studio. I call it my last studio. I'm yet to have anybody in there doing the lashes. And yeah, that's that. So anyways, guys, today is Monday. Um, I hope you guys had an amazing weekend. I don't know if I did a proper introduction. I probably didn't. But if you guys are new here, welcome to my channel and if you are returning welcome back i'm probably going to put that at the beginning after that whole long rant but um yeah so it's monday i hope you guys had an amazing weekend i really didn't do anything at all this weekend um the only thing we did was i went out on i think i went out friday night yeah we went on friday night saturday didn't do anything i 
clean I really did like a cleaning on the house like I really I mean I try to clean every weekend I do clean every weekend unless it's, like, it's, like, uh, unless it's like a weekend that I'm not at home and I'm doing stuff so I probably won't get like that much of a cleaning but I cleaned this weekend and laundry everything tidy up fixed up my room which I kind of have a little clip I think showing you guys of my upstairs room where I want us which is going to be like my studio or whatever it's my little filming room kind of situation but also a guest room don't mind the stuff in the corner I have to take that onto storage and excuse the coach for the pink cushions it's just that I only have pink cushions right now this coach actually only got here yesterday so I'm still trying to like figure out what I want to do ever just like a room for myself I have like a, I put a little couch in there so I'm trying to like work on my room and then what else oh I got my teeth cleaned I think I got my teeth cleaned on last week Monday or Tuesday it was the worst experience ever it was the worst when I tell you it was the worst teeth cleaning experience I have ever had and that itself is weird for me because I have had braces so I know what it is to go and be getting stuff done with your teeth often and people pulling and tugging and very deep, deep. that was the worst experience I ever had on my teeth. I was never a person to like hate dentists or orthodontists but no I hate dentists because it's like I've never had a problem with a normal teeth cleaner like I feel like that was a deep cleaning and that was too deep for me because it was I don't know what it was it was just it was so painful um he was hitting my gum I, I i shed a few tears like literally i shed a few tears i am not that i'm not a type of person that when i'm in pain i will like jerk and like cringe or like squeeze up my face but i literally was doing that he could see every emo he could see every time he hit me he could see on my face because it was just so painful it was the worst experience ever the thing i'm trying to do now is like to not be self-conscious like vlogging in public especially like i mean at, i'm at work but like i'm trying to not like be self-conscious about it and just act like if i don't see the people looking at me i think that's the best thing to do just like to ignore people looking at me so for breakfast we have some boiled egg some hard boiled egg eggs and i boiled three eggs this morning and i actually also got up and i did some chicken nuggets i'll show y'all but i don't really want to like take it down should i show y'all you can't really see chicken nuggets and egg and boy egg and i have my um i have my little juice right, <laughs> today's thursday i am getting ready to to go to work um i had an early start today so i kind of like i kind of have a little bit of energy but yeah so i had a little bit of energy today so i was like why not just pick up the camera and do a little something you know because i feel like i'm always vlogging when i have to go to work because that's like literally the only time like i need to get accustomed to just taking my camera with me everywhere i go and don't look at my nails okay so um i don't do this every day y'all <laughs> i don't do this every day i need to get my hair done i'm getting my hair done on sunday i'm getting my nails done this evening after i finish work and maybe i could start looking less like a bum than i am than i have been for a while yeah not my lashes though i didn't have a i don't i don't know um so i started going to somebody new and only because initially initially only because the girl that i really that i usually go to she was not available when i needed her um when i wanted to book with her she was actually closed and like out of the out of the city so um because she does like training and she does last training and stuff which is what she's doing a lot now so i love that for her because obviously that's more money and better opportunity right so anyways um, yeah, so she's she's doing a lot, a, lot, a lot of training and stuff. And because she's doing a lot of training, it was hard for me to get... Um, she's always like... Not always, but very often, 
she is her books are closed so yeah I, I was traveling and I wanted to get my lashes done and she wasn't available so I went to this other girl which I've been seeing her work for a while I was following her for a while her work looked really 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 good to me um really clean just just the aesthetic of like her posting oh my gosh all right let me turn this off let me just put this on my lap just the aesthetic of her posting and stuff like her her like just her aesthetic her posting how she posted her stories like how she posted her photos whatever whatever um i had just really really liked it so um yeah so i went and i tried her out she was really good just to go to and another thing too i moved from where i was before so both of these lash girls live in my area so but the new girl that i went to she lives closer to me which was even better like when i say closer i mean like four minutes away at the tipping point of destiny morning guys i am up as y'all can tell and ready to leave home for work my head is still tired don't i'm actually warming up some mcdonald's that i got i got my nails done yesterday and like i don't i i had to like do a little bit of work to them to like have them like shaped up some more because i find that the they don't do it as sharp as i want it to be they always want to cover like the edge with polish and i hate that because i feel like it makes them more rounded i want my nails to be super super sharp so then i would like well not i would i just realized this so i just like filed it down and it looks so much better feels so much better and i feel like i'm just gonna do this from now on like just fight it down after i come from the nail salon um so it can look more sharp and feel better um so yeah i loved them a lot better no um yesterday was they were good they're still done well but i just feel like they look so much better um let me warm up this thing i did like curry chicken the other day and it like stained the like on the stove and it stained the microwave so i need to get that cleaned off with like some bleach because we don't want a stained microwave but anyways guys yeah i'm going to be on my way to work i'm going to eat this then get on the, get, go to work and then i'll probably see you guys this evening but here it's tied down but don't worry tomorrow is saturday and we're going to be doing a little bit of things tomorrow tomorrow saturday and also i get my lashes done tomorrow evening and then i get my hair done on sunday i'm actually going to leave my camera at home so that i can charge my batteries or should i just i don't know we'll see teach you how to step into this next dimension of who god is calling you to be this hour. then he became very hungry and wonderful and so heaven and an object hey y'all so work day is done it is the freaking weekend and I have a couple things that I'm gonna do right now. I wanna go to the grocery store before, yeah, I wanna go to the grocery store. Tomorrow, we're going out for breakfast and I just have some other stuff, like a little bit of shopping and stuff that I wanna do tomorrow, like Ikea and some other stuff. So I wanna do the grocery shopping today because whatever I do, I need to be home by, I need, I have my, my, my lash appointment tomorrow at 6.30, so I need to be back home by then. So I'm going to go to the grocery store. I think I'm going to get gas now too. And that's probably it. So grocery store and gas um, for today. So basically, y'all, y'all remember like I was telling y'all we like the thing with my tires and my tires keeping this weird noise. So I got them checked today at work because I didn't like, I did ask about it yesterday, but they didn't deal with it yesterday. So they had a technician test drive my car today. And basically, yeah, he can hear it. They did some inspections and they said that one of my tires, I hope y'all can hear me over this AC. They said that one of my tires was cupping and it's something to do with like when the tire isn't touching the road all level it will rub on one side and not be rubbed on the next side because it isn't like a lane property or touching the road or driving on the road as it should be so one of my tires is cupped or whatever and that's probably the reason for the the noise that i've been hearing but they're saying that um i would need to like replace all four tires i cannot afford to replace all four tires that is not in my budget that was the farthest thing from my mind um so they're saying that i can either replace four tires or replace two tires i mean it's something that i'm driving on right now because i like i i don't have i don't have the finance for that right now that was not in my budget 
so I need to kind of like figure out four tires will run me about 1800 almost two thousand dollars so um then she was saying what I could do is I could do like two tires and then they would take off the tires from the front put on the new tires on the front put the old tires on the back or what the other thing is yeah basically that I can't remember but that's basically the best option right now I just had to stop for the train and it just brought back so much memories of all the days that I had to take the bus and the train this exact same train probably these exact same buses too to get to work get to school get back home Ugh, life, like, and you know what's so funny you know when you experience say like when, when you experience the thing and you start living the life that you always dreamed of somewhat this is kind of like an example of that like, I remember being on a train I remember being on the bus or whatever the situation is or walking or whatever and then telling myself that I'm going to feel so grateful for when I do get a vehicle because you know uh, the experiences I have now like you know I have to catch a bus and I have to do this and I have to do it next and I just remember like telling myself like Tara like I remember being like not angry I was never angry I was always like very okay with it um but I was just and it, like obviously I would get like a little frustrated in the winter or whatever like that but I remember just always telling myself Tara like all this experience you're gonna you gonna remember you remember everything and you're gonna feel so good when you get a car and you don't have to take the train and bus anymore so that you won't appreciate it so much more and that's literally the truth because i appreciate like the experiences i had when i first moved here so much more now that i um no i appreciate it now that i have a car because i know like how i felt when i didn't have a car and it's not like i felt bad or anything like i just you know didn't have a car so i had to just deal with my experiences a little bit i don't know if i need to learn or what but i good enough because there's so much more parking near me but anyways guys yeah let me go in this store get some groceries i don't know if i want to put on me now i can just go in like this i, I think i pretty much good dish my food i actually ordered that indian food from sacred dishes it was super good like their food is really really good i'm gonna call it a night i'm gonna wash my face tie my hair down um go take a shower and watch um real housewives of atlanta i think i am at episode four so i'm gonna have up to seven yeah, so I'll see you guys tomorrow when we hit the road or whatever we're doing tomorrow. Okay, so today's Saturday and it is 8.36. Okay, so I was in the midst of actually cleaning. I not till I woke up or get out of, got out of bed and I was like cleaning up the house. And I actually ordered some Amazon stuff last week that came in like yesterday and the day before. And I was keeping them because, well not really keeping them, I was just like, you know, um, 
to go and like, clean the house as we can, which is what I'm doing today. So that, like I said, I'm out there like household stuff. So I just wanted to show you guys those. Um, and then I was like, frick, I am cleaning. So I need to show you guys them before I actually like finish cleaning and put them down and set them down. All right, so I've opened them already, but not like taking them out and the packaging and stuff. So the first thing is these um, curtains that I got. Um, I'll probably show you guys them. They're actually for like right behind me. Um, so like they're supposed to be blackout curtains. I don't know if I'm really feeling this color. This color is supposed to be white gray and it looked really good in like the Amazon um, photos that people had in their reviews. But I don't know. I'm thinking should I return them like right now and just get, you know what? I'm going to like open it see if i like it because there was a white but the white had looked too white um but i want like the vibe of, like the living room area then room area to be like white bright airy very breathy very breezy breathable kind of thing so i don't know i'll, I'll try to figure out if i like them i don't know so i got two of these because for whatever reason this right here in my hand is like 50 dollars canadian one and this is one single panel like this is just one site so i had to get two so this right now in my hand is a hundred dollars like ridiculous like i've never really bought curtains before besides the ones that you see behind me we got those ones from ikea the only issue with those that they're too short so yeah so those are the really two short so these ones are i think those are like 98 and these are 108 um inches yeah 108 next thing i got is like these bathroom um mats this is actually for like the guest bathroom upstairs um i went to like walmart and got like we went to walmart and we got like a lot of like whatever color this is what color is this I don't know what color this is but like a tannish kind of color i guess you would say like a nudie i don't know what color this is but we got like um a shower curtain that is like white and almost this color then also got like you know like the um like the toothbrush holder and like the tray Do we have a i don't know if we have a tray but i think we have a toothbrush holder and a soap dispenser that match they're really really nice so they're all kind of like in this same color scheme so i just needed to get mats to the bathroom and this is the mats i decided to get so and then i also just bought like more black mats for the master bathroom this one it, okay i think this is a good size i really wanted like a long one because the master bathroom has like a really long vanity it isn't like those kind of square vanities it's a long vanity so i wanted to get a longer um like rug to fit there and it had oh this is three pieces okay this is good then oh this seems pretty big uh, i didn't know that this had two did i know okay so then so this is the long one that i just opened for in front of the vanity in front of the did i say vanity anyways the bathroom sink and then this one probably for in front like the shower the entrance to the shower and this one oh yeah okay good everything worked out because this is the one that i was thinking like i wanted one of these for like actually but the toilet bowl so there's a toilet bowl one then this one for in front of the sink and then the other one for in front of the shower so they are all matching even though they're not even though they're not the same um thing they can work together i don't know why i felt like i had like so much stuff and i don't so the next thing i got actually was a camera accessory which i'm using right now i opened this yesterday and i'm actually using it right now so basically i got really tired of like having to like unscrew my tripod or like if i had my camera mounted in my car and i was using it i got tired of like having to unscrew it every time i was getting out of the car or you know straight back on so i decided to buy a a, a release claw i think they call it a, a quick release whatever and basically you attach there's like two parts to this so yeah i'm gonna show you it. so there's like two parts to this there's this bottom part this bottom part you attach to your tray to your tripod your car mount whatever and then this bottom part this top part here you attach this to your camera so that every time you already screw it into your camera so that every time you are like leaving or you want to take off your camera you just click like squeeze the two together and you are able to release your camera instead of having to unscrew it so i'm using it right now so that's that and then this is a tripod because i want to start doing 
I want to start doing more, more content. When is the last time you heard that? Anyways, but so the tripod I have is pretty not big. It's very it's a cheap, reasonably priced tripod. The only thing is that uh, I'll show you guys. This one is better because this has more of a longer stem, and then the tripod is just at the bottom instead of it being like I can't explain it to you guys. But when you see, you will see. So I got this. This feels very very flimsy. I already don't like how it sounds, but. Your girl was just trying to buy something that was reasonably priced. So, right. This is what I was trying to explain to y'all. And I purchased this one because this one is super long. This is like the longest one that I've seen. Like this one is 62 inches. This goes to six, 62 inches or 62 feet. I don't know guys. But anyways, like this one is pretty long. And what I was trying to say is it has the tripod part just at the bottom instead of having the tripod part like all up here and taking up a lot of room. So it's easy to just stand here and like put it on my put my camera on it or my phone or whatever the situation is. And as I said, the reason that I bought this particular one is because it is super long. Um, so let me show you guys what I mean. Like it is very, very long. And well very tall so I'm glad for that okay I don't think I'm gonna I think it's pretty good I don't I mean I was saying that it felt like kind of flimsy but I think it's pretty good I think I like it Tripod comes with obviously you know, like the little tripod bag that everyone has because every tripod comes with this it comes with three attachments which is like the phone attachment two attachments the phone attachment and then it comes with like a GoPro attachment I think this is the GoPro attachment and it also comes with a remote so yes and also i now have an amazon store friend so if y'all see anything that y'all like is it's probably from amazon most most definitely is from amazon so just click the link below and see all the stuff that i purchased all the stuff that i can actually vouch for and why not purchase them from my store friend like seriously I can't